Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Jaden Jennings. The second all-private astronaut mission to the International Space Station came to an end this week, returning to Earth after nine days in space. The Axiom Mission 2 crew successfully undocked from the station's Harmony module on Tuesday, May 30th. While aboard the orbiting laboratory, the crew conducted several experiments, and Axe 2 commander Peggy Whitson added to her U.S. record for the most days in space at 675 days on four space flights. While one spacecraft returns from the space station, another one is ready to take its place. SpaceX's 28th commercial resupply mission is scheduled to launch from the Kennedy Space Center on Saturday, June 3rd. The uncrewed Dragon spacecraft is carrying scientific experiments and technology demonstrations that will help benefit humanity on and off the planet. One payload on this mission is Thor Davis, an investigation from the European Space Agency. The vantage point of the space station will allow researchers to observe electrical activities that happen above thunderstorms, particularly the inception, frequency, and altitude of recently discovered blue discharges. Scientists plan to estimate the energy of these phenomena to determine their effect on the atmosphere. A better understanding of lightning and electrical activity in Earth's atmosphere can improve atmospheric models and provide a better understanding of Earth's climate and weather. The upcoming arrival of the Cargo Dragon to the station will also set the stage for a round of June spacewalks. On Friday, June 9th, and again on Thursday, June 15th, NASA astronauts Steve Bowen and Woody Hoberg will install two new rollout solar rays to the exterior of the space station. Over time, our existing legacy arrays, they degrade. Uh, this is expected uh, and normal part of aging. And so the, our ability to augment that power um, is really important for us, especially as we want to continue research and eventually we'll be also incorporating the Axiom modules as well onto ISS. And so we need to have as much power as possible. Each new IROSA will produce more than 20 kilowatts of electricity. And once all are installed, will enable a 30% increase in power production over the station's current arrays. You can keep up with the activities on the space station anytime. Follow us on nasa.gov or on Twitter at space underscore station or at nasa underscore Johnson. And that's Space to Ground for now. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week.